the other day we were talking about other women that are attacked by uh, strangers when hiking, jogging, exercising, and we were talking about Eliza Fletcher, the Memphis mom who went out jogging at 4 a.m. This woman, she might as well have been a saint. People still attacked her because she was out jogging at 4 a.m. It made me so mad I could have chewed a nail in half. And now this woman's getting attacked because she gets spray tans and she's on websites. Who cares? Yeah, exactly, Nancy. I couldn't agree more. When I saw that headline, I immediately thought, oh, you know, we're already uh, victim blaming. We're already saying, you know, this woman shouldn't have been out running alone. You should always run with a partner. Oh, she was on multiple dating websites. You know, perhaps she had this come in. Uh, which, which I think is terrible, but I think you're right. I mean, if, if we use this information as a tool to either find, um, you know, other men that she might have been talking to who are suspects, or even if we use it as a motive, if it's something that would have upset her current boyfriend that could have led um, to this murder, then it is useful information in that way. But the use of it in any other way, um, I agree, it's pretty disheartening when we're talking about a woman who's been murdered. We also... Nancy, I, I think I see ahead, something dear. else in this. Well, maybe she was unhappy in her current relationship. I mean, he talks about he started looking for her with the kids. They've been together. He posted online. And then he took those Facebook posts right back down again, which tells me that maybe maybe this was a conflictual relationship. He's painting it as if it was a happy one. But if she was on you know dating what, fight, she wasn't committed to him. You know what? If you look at any relationship, you're going to find conflict. There's going to be conflict of some nature. I, I don't know if there was enough conflict for him to take a rock and beat her dead.